Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Gigi. Let's dive into the artist shout out for today. Here's what you'll need for today's lesson and project. You'll need a pencil, a piece of paper, you'll need a black marker, some glue, and texture worksheet. For today's lesson, we're going to be talking about texture. So what is texture? Texture refers to the surface quality in a work of art. Texture that is created to look like something is not is called visual or implied texture. This is what we're gonna be dealing with today. We're gonna to create three implied textures on this worksheet. I invite you to define these three textures in real life and try drawing them on this worksheet. The first one we're gonna be dealing with is like a soft texture. We're gonna be drawing a fluffy cloud or a fluffy cotton ball. Here's an example that I did of a soft fluffy texture. The next texture is going to be bumpy. In the second box, we're going to create an implied bumpy texture. You could do this by creating some C shapes in different sizes. Here's an example that I did of an implied bumpy texture. The last texture is woody. We're going to create a series of some straight and curvy lines in the same direction to create a wood green texture. Here's an example of an implied wood texture. to the projects. For this project we're going to draw a series of squares. Inside the squares we're going to create different textures with glue. Now if you don't like or don't have any glue, you're always welcome to skip this project and move on to the next one. But for this project, in the one box, I invite you to create a series of dots with glue. In the other box, wavy lines. The next box after that, straight lines. then one with swirls and the last box I covered most with glue just to create like a water like texture and once the glue is dried I invite you to color the boxes with the various colors with either crayons, pastels, or colored pencils. Have fun touching, creating, and experiencing different textures in your artwork. This next project is about implied texture. We're going to start out by drawing an apple. We all know how an apple should look like, right? Bright, colorful, smooth. We're gonna change the texture of this apple though. You can make it bumpy, fluffy, wood grain texture, spiky, or in this case, I made a furry texture. Once you're done drawing your apple and the texture, you're going to start 
going over your lines with the black marker. That should do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button below. As always, stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. We'll see you next time.